All right. Nice to see you all. So let's just settle into our meditation posture. And just check briefly where you're at. Sorry. Oh. Come here. Thank you, Pam. Take a nice deep breath. And check where your body's at this morning and your mind. So mind, the mind might already be off having breakfast or at work. So just try and bring it back to the same place your body is because you'll get there soon enough. And while you're thinking about the future and the past, you're not in the present. So do yourself a favor and come back to that stillness, which is who you really are. And check your sitting posture. Make sure you're nicely aligned, particularly the shoulders aligned with the hips and the spine lengthening. A string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Just lengthening, putting some space in between those vertebrae. Take a nice deep breath if you need to. And tip the head very slightly forward. Put some length in, between, in the back of your neck. Relax the jaw. You can wiggle it around if you want, side to side. And then uh, bring your awareness to the crown of your head. Relax your scalp and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And bring your attention to the back of the head and release any sort of any stress or tension there. Relax the ears and the inner ear and the temples, back of the tongue and the jaw again. Now bring your awareness to the back of your head and release tension there. Again, just at the occipital bone. See if you can double release. And just notice the effect that has on your face. Then relax the neck, the shoulders. Allow your shoulder blades to drop down. Relax your throat. And your chest and your belly and limbs, hands, fingers and feet and toes. And then bring the mind. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. It's a little bit cooler as you're exhaling. And then be aware of what sounds there are around you. Is there someone else in your apartment, your house? Are they getting up? And just allow those sounds to be there, whether it be traffic or animals, birds, people. 
and bring the mind back to the breath. And then just notice what thoughts might be arising. What's appearing to your mind. And don't judge or have opinions or criticize. Just allow those thoughts to arise and to abide. And be like a, an objective observer. Just simply watching what's arising without judgment or criticism and without opinions. And the thoughts just allow them, you know, like clouds in the sky. They never stay the same, they just move, dissipate. So now let's bring to mind all the people of our life. We're going to do a, a little bit of a different meditation today on gratitude. But we'll start by bringing all these people to our mind. So the ones you love, people in your life every day, they could be also not in your life every day, but you have these profound and deep relationships with these people. Some you feel so lucky to know. How did I get so fortunate to have this one in my life? And then there's those folk in your life who are uh, maybe so bit difficult. And some range from being just a little bit difficult to, oh, you maybe just too toxic. And then there's those who are just complete strangers to us. But they're floating in and out of our life somehow. We pass them on the street, in the, on the freeway. And maybe that's someone that's a a kind of a bit familiar, but they're still a stranger. You know, we might see them every day as we're driving past the same place on our way to somewhere. Or they might be in the supermarket occasionally or at the, the checkout counter. But we don't know them. We don't care terribly much. It's good to remember that this friend this enemy and this stranger can change place at any time. And that they all have this incredible capacity for this enlightened mind, even though we only think the ones we adore have that capacity. But they all do, the same as you. And they all wish to be free from suffering. They all wish for happiness. The problem is because of where we are living, this samsaric world, happiness is elusive. True happiness is elusive in that we often can't quite get the satisfaction we're seeking. And then suffering is always turning up in the form of one problem or another. So 
So we'll do this meditation this morning for ourselves as we're moving along our spiritual path and for all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings. So now bring to mind there's some of the people of your life who you love. Now open yourself to your own heart, your own inner stillness, your own compassion. Your own good heart, light and happy, sweet. And who is occupying that space right now? And where does your mind go when you think about these important people in your life, the ones you love? And visualize them one by one. See their faces in front of you. And allow yourself, remind yourself of how much they mean to you. Remember, so any conflicts or niggles, anything in the past that's been a bit difficult, just allow it to float away. Maybe you remember one or two moments with them where you've just laughed uncontrollably. Some kindness between the two of you. Some deep connection. And allow your heart to be filled with gratitude at having been able to experience that and share that experience with these people. And just for a moment, let's go through each one of these people. I mean, you may have many, so it might take too long, but just choose a few. Bring them to your mind, see their face. Remember a moment that touched you or made you happy or made you laugh, or was a moment of support or kindness. Remind yourself how important these people are in your life. Allow your heart to be filled with gratitude at having these people in your life. And for each one of them, just think I am loved. And I love.
I am loved. I love. And now maybe there are some people in your life who are difficult for you, who maybe they've taught you something. Maybe that difficulty between you has shown you something in yourself. It could be as simple as, well, may, that is maybe some way that I don't want to be. Thank you for showing that to me. Maybe the, the difficulties that you've had has taught you something, either about yourself or about how to handle a difficult situation. Maybe it's taught you resilience. Maybe you were put in a position where you had to maybe look a little bit deeper inside and process. And through that process, you've learned something, deepened something within yourself grown somehow. So even through the difficulty, maybe you don't want to repeat it, but even through that difficulty, you've gained something. So perhaps feel a sense of gratitude. Again, Secure in the fact that you are loved and you do love. And then maybe before we move on to our strangers, try and bring to mind one good quality. Try and conjure up one good quality 
in the person that's difficult for you. And has there been someone in your life who you passed very briefly, who floated in and out of your life, whether it be for a few seconds or a little bit longer, a stranger who showed you some kindness? Maybe it was a flight attendant. Maybe it was someone in a restaurant who served you. Maybe it was someone who found your purse, picked up your driver's license for you when you inadvertently dropped it on the ground and walked away. Someone offered you some kindness, some help. And remember to think you are loved and you love. So now just imagine you're corners of your mouth are very slightly moving upwards as if you're about to smile but you don't quite. This lifts your mind a slightly, particularly when you're meditating we can get all a little bit too serious. So let's move on to things now, material things. So allow all the things that you presently do not have that might be causing you some angst because you want them. To slowly fade from your mind. They're not important now. Any material object you've been desiring, let it go. This feeling doesn't really serve you. So by focusing on what you want in the future, you are not allowing yourself to be present. So let your materials, desires fade. And just focus on what you have. So bring your awareness to yourself (laughs) and start from your feet. And you might have shoes or socks on. So think I'm grateful for my shoes and socks. I'm grateful for my leggings or my pants or my tracksuit pants, my trousers. I'm grateful for my shirt. I'm grateful for the soap I used to wash myself this morning and that the fact that there's water coming out of the tap.
and maybe you have grateful for the chair you're sitting in, the computer or device that's in front of you. It works. You're connected to internet. This enables you to do many things. So rather than focusing on what you don't have in the present moment, focus on what <clears throat> you do have. And again, think, I am loved. And I love. Now think about your health. And think about bring to mind any ailments you might have. Does your head hurt right now? Maybe your feet are tired. Just quietly acknowledge your pain or illness. Is it minor or major? Perhaps it's curable. Maybe this will take some time. Imagine your life if you weren't able to see the computer or hear a voice. What would it be like not to be able to get out of bed in the morning? You have the freedom to walk. You can eat. And just acknowledge to yourself a, a life without some form of challenge. You know, these, these challenges, they, they teach us things about ourselves, about others, about patience, compassion. So we can, in a way, be grateful sometimes for all these challenges that come our way and then also be grateful for the health that we do have. And think again, I am loved. And I love. And take a nice deep breath. Again, bring all those people of your life to your mind. With a heart of gratitude. Move through your day. Think of the people you're grateful for, the things you're grateful for, and your own health. At whatever level of health you have, and let's just dedicate uh, any gratitude that's been developed in our heart this morning to the benefit of all these beings in our life all sentient beings around us and to ourselves as we move through our day. Everybody, thank you so very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Lots of love. And I will see some of you this evening. Okay. Thank you.